Hello everyone, this is Robin. I'm back again. Welcome to the Dennis family. So today I'm going to share with you the US Embassy Interview Appointment Packet Guide. Okay, so let me read what the US Embassy has sent to me through the email. And this was last uh, July 24. So after we received email from the NBC, that was July 11 for Kimura and July 18 for me, we received email from the U.S. Embassy here in Costa Rica last July 24. So that was like from Kimura, it was 13 days after and from me, uh, 18 to 24 is like 6 eight days after, right? So what was in the packet, there are English and Spanish writings in the paper. Of course, on the heading, they have this immigrant visa unit, U.S. Consulate General San Jose, email support dash Costa Rica at U.S. Travel .com. So that's the email of this department. Your applicant, our office confirms your appointment for the application for the immigrant visa at the U.S. Consulate in San Jose, Costa Rica. According to the immigration law, all qualifying members of your family that have the intention of immigration must come with you the day of the interview. If you cannot show up to the appointment, please notify our office immediately to the email Support us, Costa Rica at ustraveldogs.com. So we remind you that it is necessary to bring to the appointment all the documents required for this process. If you are unable to present the required documents during the final appointment, your visa application could be denied. Please review the following checklist and descriptions of the documents generally required. First, According to immigration regulations in the United States, the intending immigrants must undergo a medical examination. The attached document includes the instructions for the medical exams. Applicants have to bring to the appointment the sealed envelope that the authorized panel physician gives to them at the time of the physical examination. Second, passport valid for one year or more also bring old passports. Third, civil documents, birth certificate, and other civil documents. So if the petition is based on parental relationship, children, parents, or vice versa, as well as for siblings, must present a literal birth certificate, which is a photocopy of the registration of the date of the birth, change of names, acknowledgement of the child by his her parents. So here in Costa Rica, they have literal birth certificate. We got that for Kaylee when we applied for the CRBA. So other civil documents, marriage certificate, divorce degree, death certificate, single status certificate, or police certificate are from another country and not from the Costa Rican Civil Registry. This must be authenticated by the United States Embassy of that country or must have the apostille. If any of the civil documents are from another country, and not from the Costa Rican Civil Registry, this must be certified by the appropriate government authority from that country and authenticated by the United States Embassy in that country or have the apostle certification. Fourth, to color photographs to buy two inches, instructions attached. Fifth, police records of the countries in which you have lived for six months or more. In order to obtain the Costa Rican police certificate, applicants should go to the offices of the Judicial Registry in San Jose and request the document, Certificado de Antecedentes Penales para Tramites Internacionales. It's hard to have the Spanish, guys. The address of the Judicial Registry is the following, Edificio Anexo. A. Poder Judicial, Premier Piso, Avenida 6, Cali 19, Costado Norte del OIJ, San Jose. 
based on hours of operation Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. and from 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Applicants have to take their cedula, cedula de residencia, or passport to the judicial registry. The Costa Rican police certificate is issued to applicants who are 18 years of age or older and these documents has to be requested directly by the applicant. Okay, six, affidavit of support from family-based immigrants and some employment-based immigrants use this form to show they have adequate means of financial support and are not likely to rely on the U.S. government for financial support. So financial sponsorship responsibilities, financial sponsors, joint sponsors and applicants should be aware of the responsibilities arising from a sponsor signing an I-864 and the consequences of a sponsored immigrant's acceptance of federal means-tested public benefits. For more information, visit travel state.gov slash I-864. Number seven, proof of relationship to the petitioner. You need to bring this, photos, letters, emails, proof of financial support, among others. Please see the attached image. Note that the consular officer could request any additional document that she or he considers necessary for the immigrant visa application. So that's the instructions, guys. Let me read this. The translation of the civil documents from Spanish to English is highly recommended, but all the documents in any other language must be translated into English by a competent translator. Translation of documents from countries different than Costa Rica will also need authentication. Medical exams do not need to be translated. So you have to bring the original civil documents for the consular officer to verify authenticity. Please also bring copies of your civil documents. All your children that will be immigrating with you and if they qualify, according to the immigration law, will have to meet the requirement indicated above for their immigrant visa application. Our office cannot guarantee in advance that the immigrant visa will be issued only after you have been interviewed. The decision regarding the eligibility to obtain the immigrant visa in accordance with immigration laws will be made by the consular officer. We don't recommend that you plan your trip to the United States, nor buy the airplane ticket or sell properties or quit your job until you have obtained the immigrant visa. The immigrant visa section will try to process your visa application as soon as possible, but in some cases, it is necessary to wait until a definitive decision can be made. If the visa is approved, you will be informed about the day and hour for pickup. Note that in some cases, a second interview could be required. If you do not show up to the interview, your application will be cancelled one year after the date you have been scheduled for the appointment. Please make sure that you have all the documents. So that's the instructions from the U.S. Embassy guys. And they also have here uh, instructions for the medical exam. And then they also have the list for vaccinations. And another is the photos requirement, how to to take your picture and then lastly are the instructions security uh, procedures in getting inside the u.s embassy okay that's all for today guys i received the packet from the u.s embassy this is the guide for us for our interview so i hope everything will be fine and we will get approved I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bell notification, and give us a thumbs up. And please leave comments down below if you have questions about our visa journey. See you again next time. Bye!